tagging is an extremely powerful concept within Revit. So in my simple building here, we're looking at the south elevation. So I've got an external door and a couple of windows. I've already numbered the door and the windows at object level. So if I click and select the door, we can see I give it a door number and likewise for the windows W1 and W2. So if we want to put those references onto this particular elevation, go to annotate, tag by category, and I simply select the objects to add the tags. But what if we want to tag in 3D? So let's just switch to a 3D view now. So there's a 3D view of our building. So what you may want to do is a little cutaway uh, diagram of a certain area of your building and then tag it in 3D. So let's do that now. So with no object selected, we get the properties of the view. So if I look down and put section box on, put a little tick there, we get a wireframe box around our model. And I'm just gonna pull those cutting planes in to pick out the area we're interested in. Now, we probably don't want to see the, um, the section box on the sheet. So let's just go ahead and select that. I'm just gonna use the keyboard shortcut VH for visibility hide. Turns that category off. I'll do the same for the levels. We're not interested in the levels in this particular view. So I've selected one, VH. So that's what we're gonna put on the sheet. And what we'd like to do now is just tag those elements so the person reading our drawing can see the references. So remember, annotate, tag by category, and you will be presented by that warning uh, notice there saying that the view has to be locked. Now, the reason for that is what we're trying to do is apply 2D tags over the top of a 3D model. Now, the problem is you could apply the tags here and aim them at the, the objects, but what if you then wanted to rotate the view then you're not going to be able to rotate 2D elements which are really just sitting on top of the view itself against a 3D model. So in order to apply our tags, we've got to lock this view in place so it can't be rotated and then Revit will happily allow us to put these 2D tags against the objects. Now to lock the 3D view, you need to go down onto the view control bar and you'll see an icon of a little house with a padlock against it it's currently reporting this is an unlocked 3D view. So go ahead and click it and save orientation and lock the view. So it's going to lock this in place so it cannot be rotated. Give it a name. This is because this is currently the default 3D view. Remember Revit reserves this uh, sort of curly brackets and 3D as the default 3D view. So we need to give it a different name. I'll just call it view one. It's okay. Notice the icon has the locked padlock on it now to show us that the view is locked. We can now go to annotate, tag by category, and select a door. Place the tag down. We'll do the same for the window and the other window and that view is ready to be placed onto a sheet. I hope you enjoyed this Revit architecture video. If so, please hit the like button. If you'd like to be notified when new videos are released, please subscribe to this channel. And to see the full range of my Autodesk Revit architecture training material, including video courses and PDF eBooks, please visit the website at www.bimscape.com. You can also connect with Bimscape on the social media platforms listed here.